So tell us what you did to this barn door over here. This one. I built it. Nick Baddison, no, welcome to the vlog, man. So, the weathered finish that we put on this barn door the other day was definitely a bit too purple yeah. when it came out. I think that the finish is truly meant for um, like the select pine, but I think these like the common boards that we use for this stuff um, just soaks it up a bit too much and causes it to turn a little bit purple, but the, the select pine seems to be a little bit more dense, it's got a smoother finish, um, so it doesn't soak it up. Try it. it. Turns a little bit grayer. Same thing with the oak. But yeah, we're but gonna anyways, do a test on all that. Turned a little bit too purple. I sanded it a little bit, um, and then I stained over top of it with carbon gray, which I've never used that stain before, and I was very happy with it. But I will say, I did a piece um, that didn't have the weathered finish on it, and you could definitely tell a difference. Like this color, you're only gonna get this color probably if you do the weathered finish first and then it makes the color a lot darker and kind of more what I was going for. You can definitely tell a difference. This is weathered and this is the same stain just on a piece that we didn't weather. That's also got polyurethane on it. Yeah, it has a but matte poly over top of it. It's matte poly so it didn't really change a whole lot. But the color is definitely, this yeah. one's more deeper. For sure. Makes the I stain. Like this color I like <clears throat> I like to consider this for just as like a toner. The weather, you know, yeah. what I mean? like it tones the wood so that it's not. And we've done projects before where we kind of did something similar. We aged the wood and then we stained over top of it, and it gives the stain a different look when you age the wood first. Yeah. So. It's so it's not that. yeah it's not so you don't have this like bare wood and see how this one's like a little blotchy, blotchy. Uh -huh. whereas this is like much richer and uh, not so blotchy. Hey, Okay, so when you're getting started building these uh, barn doors, you would typically build the frame first and then the back. Um, the issue that we're having is that we need a 33 inch wide barn door and when you put these tongue and groove boards together, they're almost exactly 33 inches or just a little bit longer. The problem is I don't want to end on one of these tongues or the groove on the back. So I first ripped off the groove off from one side and uh, the tongue that would be on the other end. You wouldn't need to do this in most cases, but it just works out that that's what we had to do for this one. Okay, so now that we've got the panels glued, um, Okay, so now that we've got the panels. Okay, so now that we've got the tongue and board. Me. <laughs> this is the remix. <laughs> it's just so fun to listen to. Keep going. You're doing great. Okay, so now that we've got the tongue and groove boards glued together, we're gonna cut them down to their final length, and then we're gonna build the frame and screw it all together. <laughs> assembled our frame and we just did a simple one by four frame with one board in the middle so this is a two panel design 
Um, there's lots of different styles. You can put an X in here. You could do a diagonal and a diagonal the, up, the other way. Um, but just Google barn door designs and you'll find so many different styles for the doors. This is just the one we chose. So right now, since we've got our frame together, we're going to flip it over, throw some glue on the back of the frame, and then set the tongue and groove boards on top of it and screw it down from the back. Okay, so we are now going to, we only got one of these doors completely done because I made the mistake of not buying enough wood to finish the other one. So, and I said completely done, but it's not. We still have to finish it. We're going to finish it tomorrow. Hopefully, yes. Mail's here. We're going to run this door over to the flip house, and then we're meeting the landowner of the property that we're buying over at the property to get the the some paperwork from him so that's what we got and then after that i'm actually going to a red wings game so um yeah that'll probably be the end of the vlog for today see you guys